right, we're going to open up with uh, the Razorbacks coming on the field. Something you see just about every Saturday. Yeah, this was the first thing I'm glad we started with because our number one priority was run through the A. Last year, we kind of jogged through the A, so we practiced running through the A, and, and we succeeded in doing that well, so I felt a lot better. You can see right here, they came out, and they weren't coming out to run the football. They come out throwing the ball right away. And Michael James showed what he was made of. Well, they started out, they went to challenge him. And, and the thing you'll see right here is our defensive line put a lot of pressure on Rubik. But we get the ball back, and here's Kerwin Price. Kerwin started at tailback. We thought he deserved to. He'd been practicing every day. He'd done a tremendous job. We're getting some great blocking. Here you'll see, this is the reverse play early. Look at Quinn Grovey. Holy Toledo, he'll be wanting to go down there to the half line and be a blocker these days. Did Great it good, play. Did it well on the touchdown just a few, few minutes later. In the well, game good. He'll be carried away. Now, this is a big play, a big third down play. We'll run the option. we go back and run the option. And uh, Juju Harshaw comes in and makes a big second effort play. Look at our protection. Great protection. And Quinn throws an uncharacteristic thing, and that's a turnover and uh, an interception. The only one he threw. But I think he was a little tight. He wanted to play well. And look there, they come right back. And you'll see this. The great thing about this, that's Daniel Bitson, their great receiver. And this is early in the game. He only catches one more. James McCoy, all right, the defensive end from Mariana. He was saying that uh, he it to James. This was a big play to know we could get it early. And look at this play right here. This is on a first score and drive, a third down 11. Quinn makes the first in there to Cedric Fillmore, who had a couple of big catches. The former quarterback, here's the first touchdown of the season for the 1989 edition. And he goes into the end zone. Great. There's Todd Gifford out there. Quinn was out there to set it up. Let's look at this one again. Big Sean Flores over there, flitting around. Make it look like we're running a sweep. And E.D. Jackson really hadn't practiced this play that much because he's been injured. Comes back and run the reverse twice, and all of a sudden we've got the big play, and we're on the scoreboard first, which was so important with a team who had a lot riding on the game. Look at the escorts that he has. Talk about uh, the guard play here. You've got two guards that weren't even expected to start back in the spring that are leading the way on this. Well, play. they're doing a great job. Uh, Sean uh, got an uh, ankle hurt just a little bit. I think he'll be all right. And Todd gets left guard and done a super job. But as the quarter goes on, we got the lead, and see, we're harassing, and James knocks us down. This had to have been James McCoy's finest ball game. We've been pressuring and just, just so glad that he was able to make the contribution he did. He stayed well. Here we're getting some great rush. See how he doesn't have much time to throw it? Incomplete, and we take the lead, and it's a good way to start. He did an outstanding it. job with the game plan, as all of our new coaches did. Great running of our triple option with Barry Foster and great read by Quinn. Our line's doing a good job. Mark Henry, Rick Apostas, and this is E.D. Jackson coming through and not practicing an awful lot, and we were really proud. Our, our tailbacks carried the ball 32 times in the ball game, which is abnormally high, but that's what we want it to be so that the quarterback, like Quinn, only carried it about 10 times where he really ran the football. This is really good to see our, our first field goal of the year and uh, Todd kicking that ball in there. I couldn't be happier with Todd riding. So T.J. Ruby did not want to end up sacked, so this is why he did it. Look at Quinn. Great throw. And there's Timmy Horton. Timmy, stay in bounds. Look at there. Your mama will want to watch you get all that yardage, and you're going to get it called back. And you got to know. That's a great. Let's look at it again. Here's Quinn. We got super protection on the corner. We're throwing a flag route to the front side. A great block there by Juju. You see what's going on. Good throw. That's even close to a spiral right there. It's not bad, Quinn. But there the ball's coming in there, and he throws it over the underneath man, just over his fingertips. That's all you want, just over it. Perfectly thrown football. Now Tim just got to stay in bounds here, and uh, he runs a little bit right in here. <clears throat> he just barely steps on the line. And he's just, uh, otherwise, he had a great play. I enjoyed watching him run his old running back days from down at Con uh, Conway, where there's no wumpus cat. And, uh, but, but it gave us, got us off our end of the field, and that was big. Cohen Price back in the game now at tailback. Good another five yards at a time. Super uh, <clears throat> blocking inside, our triple option. We get another five or six yards from Juju on the option. Here's Quinn. Look at the great protection, super protection we had. Watch this. He about knocked Steve Hudson down. Boom. That knocked his shoulder pads off. We come back with another field goal. We take the 13-0 lead into halftime, Jerry.
can't uh, really quarrel with that except you. Yeah, TJ is such a great throw. And here you see him coming in there. They, they run the ball well down to the 10 yard line. Michael James, the Pine Bluff Flash, comes through for the big loss. We do a, uh, not a good job of taking him on with the right shoulder there and allowing him to get the one yard line. And things are looking dismal here. But well, watch this great defensive stand. Great surge and great team effort and everybody trying to get to the ball and get on the pile. Hey, they know the camera's going to be on the ball carrier and they're going to get their name mentioned. Bubba Barra, Ty Mason, and Mick Thomas in here. Uh, you'll see Mackenzie Phillips coming in, Scotty Long from down in Benton, uh, Tony Allison. Everybody's around there to don't let the ball carrier fall forward after you make such a great play. And we held them for two downs down there, and then they'll come back. But I couldn't be prouder. I mean, right at that point, that was a big play, and we gained a lot of confidence from that play. We come back here and do a super job of just finding an open receiver in our goal line defense, and really we're playing the run. Now that I think the greatest drive of the whole ball game, they got momentum again. It's 13 to 7. We take the ball, run the ball to tailback, E.D. Jackson. Great blocking inside, and Barry, pick your feet up and you score. Now he does pick his feet up. Look here, he does a great job and gets another about 15 or 16 yards on a triple option read. Quinn comes back, throws that same pass he'd thrown from interception. Tim Horton comes down with the football. Great mixture of the option, the straight running, the option, the pass. Great uh, play calling by Jack Crow and all of our staff. And then we come with a new formation and another option play and look at Quinn. In fact, let's look at this on slow mo, Jerry. Quinn and, uh, and Barry both said after the game there was a lot of great individual effort, but they thought the offense as a whole really didn't click. Well, it may not have clicked on everything, but this play was great blocking. You see coming in, Steve Hudson does a good job. Mark Henry pulled him. Got a great block from Jim Mabry, our left tackle and Todd Gifford, and Quinn gets in and really puts us up 12 points. So it's going to take two scores to beat us now, Jerry, and that's why we went for two. But knowing now one score wouldn't do it, they come back and decide to throw the ball a lot more. They run the ball again. Great shit. Mike Shepard, that's a big, big play on third down because now on fourth down, they go for it for an inch, and watch this. Good gracious, super play. Out of the way, Mike. Once again, the line surged across and took surged control. Surged across right there. you got to have the line of scrimmage. I'm down on the ground, looks like I'm praying, and I am. But we get the ball back. Here's Mackenzie Phillips. Here's old James McCoy. They throw the ball deep, trying to pick on a young man, and they can't do it. Michael James is ready. He leaps up. He, all you defensive backs out there watching high school now, watch how Mike doesn't sit like a receiver. He goes up. He attacks the ball at its highest point. That's the fundamental we've been trying to teach. Watch him right here. You'll see him. He's not waiting for the ball to come down. He's going and attacking it, where a receiver a lot of times will wait for the ball to come down. Great play and great shot of that. And uh, that, that was the first play when they had taken over the ball. They went downfield. We get the ball now at midfield with great field position, leading by 12 points, starting the fourth quarter. We controlled the ball. We felt like we had the ball 20 minutes the first half. Their defense ought to be getting a little bit tired. Here we get a good option. There's a good block, and E.D. Jackson takes off. I told him next week now, you well enough now, you don't get caught from behind. Here we run the toss sweep to Cohen Price once again, an in and out move, a good six yards on first down, and gives us a chance to go for it, to get close right here. Quinn goes, dodges, the same play he scored on before, we go the other way, and now great blocking. We go behind a veer blocking, there's a, a Steve Hudson, here's a great block by Rick Aposkis, great block. Coming there by Mark Henry, Elbert Crawford, and now we go up with a score, 26 to 7, and we can just sit back now. Oh, they dropped the ball because we're around him. I'm glad Aaron was close by. Here we got two people in the same zone, but we're chasing. Get him, Bubba. Get him, Bubba. Use that some of that track speed now, and things are going, and he's going to catch the ball out of bounds where he had a chance, but we're down there on it. And here we got great, great uh, play again by Michael James. See how he broke on the ball and knocked that thing up? James McCoy in there. Watch this. Wide open, but no. We were playing kind of an inside-outside deal there at that particular time. And Quinn, we have in there because we got the ball on the five-yard line. We didn't want to turn it over. But after we ran one play and got out in good field position, we put Jimmy Williams in. Great run, Kerwin Price, the East St. Louis Flash. Ron Dickerson, the freshman, the true freshman. We only played two, and look at him on the very first carry. Mama Jeannie was here all the way from up in Pennsylvania. And watch this throw. 
Jason Brandt, the young man who was a linebacker just not too long ago from Harrison, the Goblins, comes in there and Jimmy throws it again to Jason Brandt. He just doesn't hang on. But uh, two good throws by Jimmy Williams. I thought that's really going to help his confidence. It comes on. Get him, James. And now it kind of sit back and you kind of know they're going to throw the ball, Jerry. Right here is kind of a trick play. They had a wide out out. They were going to try to throw the ball out here, too. Again, they've had a hard time with it. Mackenzie Phillips makes a great play. Now we're just running out the clock. We're getting some good blocking. Everybody's in the game playing. Really was proud of the, just the way we hung on in a 26-7 victory with all the new things we had. I thought it was a much better first ball game than maybe we